collecting wood for the fire and fishing for food to feed their families. These should be the simplest of tasks, but for the women of South Sudan, these daily chores expose them to huge risks, including sexual and physical violence in a country torn apart by conflict. Tens of thousands of women now live with their families in protection of civilian sites within and next to United Nations bases. Peacekeepers work to provide a safe environment, including patrolling alongside women when they leave the base. The United Nations mission in South Sudan not only provides a protective presence, but also advocates for action against those who abuse women. As a proud African and a proud African man who adores the good things in African culture, I find it appalling when sometimes some of us try to hide behind the mask of culture to justify violence and impunity, particularly against women. No African culture condones the brutalization of its women and girls in the name of culture. In the midst of the chaos and violence in South Sudan, slow steps are being taken towards peace and reconciliation. At a conference in the capital Juba this week, women from around the country came together to discuss peace and security, making a number of recommendations, including the appointment of a woman as head of the country's Truth and Reconciliation Commission. In every peace process around the world where women become involved in it, it has a greater ch chance of success. Uh, this place is no uh, exception. South Sudan has an has a extremely vibrant, strong women um, and they need to be part of the peace process. That is a view shared by local business leaders. Peace is important for education. Peace is important for good health. In order to build our nation, to be also one among the global the transitional government of national unity says it wants all the women of South Sudan to participate, with one minister describing women as a shining path towards peace. Peace is life, and therefore a must. It is a must. Peace is a right. Peace is happiness. Peace is development. And peace is prosperity that we all aspire for. All agreeing though that for that aspiration to be realized, the guns must be silenced. If war is waged on the bodies of women and girls, there can never be peace and reconciliation. Without security for women and girls, our efforts to create a united, a strong and prosperous nation will be in vain.